From the Linmar Technology and Communication Center, we are LMTV, Linmar Television. A total look at everything happening on your Linmar campus. Linmar, your news starts now. Good morning, Linmar. It's Thursday, March 3rd, 2011. And here's a look at the stories making news on your Linmar campus. Our top story, the girls' basketball season is still alive following a nail-biting victory over Ankeny. The girls will face Iowa City West Friday at noon in Des Moines. You will need to purchase your ticket for that game at the Wells Fargo Arena. Sign up for the pet bus at Mrs. Dayton's cashier window. Cost is $12. There will only be a pet bus if enough people sign up. And there will not be a pet bus offered on Saturday. If we win on Friday, we could play in the championship game Saturday at 8 p.m. We now have more information about the guys' first round tournament game. Today for the Club Connection, Jordan Webstermore tells us more. Jordan? The guys face Cedar Rapids, Washington next Wednesday afternoon at 1.45 in the first round of the state tournament. Game and pet bus tickets will be available Monday and Tuesday for Mrs. Dayton in the cashier's office. Cost is $8 for the game ticket and $12 for the bus, for a total of 20 The pet bus will leave from Circle Drive by Doortown in the South Lot at 10.30 a.m. Those riding the pet bus will be dismissed after first block to ride the bus. The pet bus will return home, return home immediately after the game and be back at school around 6 p.m. If you plan to go to any of the state games, you must have your parents call you out. Tell your parents to call the attendance office at 447-3050 as soon as possible. Katie, back to you. Thanks, Jordan. Speaking of the state tournament, your student council is selling boys state basketball t-shirts. Shirts are $10 and the order form can be downloaded from the main Linmar website or picked up in the main office. They are due by this Friday to Mrs. Dayton in the high school main office. Sorry, no late orders can be accepted. And we will be back with more LMTV news right after this. Come see the Aristocats, March 3rd through the 5th, this year's Playtime Poppy, directed by Mrs. Fry. It's located in the Linmar High School Auditorium. Showtimes are at 4.30 and 7 o'clock on the 3rd and the 4th, and 2 o'clock and 4.30 on the 5th. Tickets are only $3. Go to the Playtime Poppy website for tickets or purchase them at the door. All are welcome. You know that there are pets out on the street? They can't eat nothing, but they're getting beat. Of course they aren't as lucky as you, because when you eat, you can help them too. It's, it's a big sale. sale! For our furry friends, giving them some money for some happy ends. From 8 to 8.30, March 4th and March 3rd, in the four corners. Spread out what you heard! Word. Welcome back. Any students, parents, or staff who want to go on the art tour of Italy in July 2012, the deadline for early registration to receive a $150 discount has been extended through today. Any questions, see Ms. Simolek as soon as possible. Are you interested in traveling to Costa Rica in June of 2012? See Mrs. Crandall or one of the Spanish teachers for more information. Parent meeting will be held tonight at 6 p.m. in room L117. Now Cayman takes a look at this morning's sports. Cayman. Thank you, Katie. On the scoreboard, as we mentioned before, the girls beat Ankeny 48-47. to The boys' basketball all-conference team has selected Matt Bohannon and Marcus Page for the first team. Shane Benton and Josh Montague made the second team. Our coach Robertson was um, nominated for Coach of the Year. Congratulations. In other sports news, all girls interested um, to sign up, uh, all girls interested going out for softball, sign up in the athletic office. There will be a girls tennis meeting, pl player parent meeting in the lower commons tonight at 6.30. Anyone going out for girls tennis must attend. All guys tennis players must come to a parent athlete meeting. Monday night at 7 p.m. in the Upper Commons. All girls golf golfers need to sign up in the athletic office by Monday. The preseason meeting will be next Tuesday at 3.15 in the food court. Order forms for boys and girls track thrower shirts are now available. See Mrs. Bechet in room 159 to get an order form. Money is due to Mrs. Dayton by Monday. That's sports. Back to you, Katie. Thanks, Cayman. In news from the counselors, are you planning on taking an AP exam? You must pay $13 for each exam by 3 o'clock p.m. next Thursday. The money may be paid in the TAG office, room J202, between 8.30 and 1.30 daily. An AP exam will not be ordered unless the order fee is received by the deadline. 
Planning for your future, a career college fair, will be held at Marion High School Monday from 6 to 8 p.m., and Linmar students are invited. Those of you trying for the ECHO 20 Award, this event can count as two activities. Sign up in the counseling office if you wish to attend. If you want to be an engineer, it's your chance to hear from three of them tomorrow from 9 to 10 a.m. in the ICN room. You must get a pass from the counseling office to attend. For details, stop by the counseling office or check out their website. Now Meg joins us with the Arts and Clubs. Meg, why are you so dressed up today? Well, Katie, it's opening out of the Aristocats, of course. And speaking of Aristocats, the Playtime Poppy production of the Aristocats has two performances, tonight and tomorrow night, at 4.30 and 7 in the Limmar Auditorium. Tickets are just $3 each and will be available out the, at the door. Attention chess players, we will be restarting the Limmar Chess Club. Anyone interested should attend the meeting Tuesday morning at 8 in Mr. Kibbe's room. Math team, those of you who are going to the University of Iowa this Saturday, please be at door 1 by 7.30 a.m. and bring money for lunch. You can now sign up for the Limmar Armed Service Club. See Ms. Dershowet, Ms. Dill, or Mr. McCann. The parent information night is next Tuesday at 6.30 in the Little Theater. The Marion East Cedar Rapids Rotary is looking to sponsor an Interact chapter at Linmar High School. Interact is Rotary International Service Club for those ages 14 through 18. It's your chance to make new friends, improve your community, develop leadership skills, and make a difference in the world. Everyone is welcome to attend an informational meeting Tuesday morning at 7.45 in the food court. See Mr. Gentry to find out more. That's your club update. Now, Katie, back to you. Thanks, Meg. This just in. Anyone who still wants to sign the banner to support Spread the Word and the R Word, listen up. The banner will be in the Lazy Lion Lounge today and tomorrow. Stop by when the coffee shop is open and sign the banner. Thanks for your support. Today on Channel 1, a look at how white supremacist groups try to recruit teens. That's today at 3 on LMTV. Now, Cayman joins us with today's lunch. Cayman? It's Mandarin orange chicken and rice with oriental blend veggies, orange wedges, and a peanut butter M&M cookie. The other lines will offer the soup bar, pizza, and chef salads. The other food court o opens with soup bar and sandwich or a wrap. Thanks, lunch. Back to you, Katie. Thanks, Cayman. Now, weathercaster Craig Johnson joins us with today's forecast. Craig? Well, if you're not careful, you could get wet over the next few days. My own TV forecast calls for a chance of rain this afternoon and a high of 41. Tonight, rain is likely, especially after midnight. We'll see an overnight low of 34. Tomorrow, there's a percent chance of rain and a high of 38. This weekend, we will see some clouds and maybe some sun with highs around 32. That's your weather. Back to you. Thanks, Craig. That wraps up today's edition of LMTV News. Remember, LMTV is always online. Just go to the high school website. For the entire cast and crew, thanks for watching. Join us again tomorrow and make it a great day, Linmar.